But you can see I'm in the car. I just wanted to show you this. Over here, we have the relays for the uh, remote keyless entry system. And you'll see that I mounted them to the block of wood there. You'll notice I drilled a hole so the pasta would flow through it as we put it on it. Now you can use that for other things as well. If you want to do, you can put a headlight relay or a horn relay up there or even a fan relay. Uh, but for right now, the only relays that are going to be put up there are the uh, relays for the remote keyless entry. Now over here we have the, uh, the actual uh, receiver for the keyless entry. Also, I've, what I've done is I've taped up here the antenna. I've actually taped it to the skin of the car. It doesn't really, it's not that big a deal. And I've gone ahead and I've kind of taped up the wires for it. Now, I'm not going to do a complete wiring job on this car. I'm only installing this particular setup on this car. So what I've done is I've gone through here and I've, you know, basically cleaned up everything, wrapped it with tape so that when the owner gets this car, he'll be able to do certain, you know, he'll be able to finish the job. Yeah. Just so you know, here we go. Okay. By the way, I was not touching the door. It, I didn't have to force it. It actually flies open like that on its own. Okay, as you're about to see with the passenger door, one more time. Now, of course, we have to be a little careful with these kind of doors, and uh, I want to emphasize that I have done my part to make them work the, properly, and to make them so that they open for each and every time. Now, well, a couple of things I want to go over real quick. This is the wire that goes to the ignition. Now we need this wire so we can, and it needs to be connected to the battery so that we can program the uh, program the um, the transmit or the receiver to accept what the codes for the transmitter. Also, we have a test light or a LED light here, that's, and that's involved with the test proceed or the. Uh, the train procedure, and we have a push button here, or what's normally called a valet switch. These are used to help con um, code the receiver to the transmitter. Now, I'm not going to go into the process, it doesn't matter, and it can change between receiver to receiver. I just wanted you to know, with not without these three, uh, the, without these three items, the LED, the valet switch, and the power for the ignition, you will never be able to code this to the transmitter. And that's one of the things that's very important to do. If you don't do that, nothing works. Okay. Now, I've set this up, it's done, and I'm happy with it. I hope my customers are going to be happy with it, because I'm going to send I'm going to send them pictures of this today so that he knows that I'm done with it. Alright, thank you very much for your time and I hope you enjoyed this video.